I'm going to start this video with a feeding. Um, I rehoused the mantids pretty much immediately after buying them, after getting home from the sea show. Uh, this is the female, she's already molted in our care. You can see the molt in the top right hand corner there. Uh, so hopefully she will eat this and then I'll show you how I rehouse them. The jar I'm using, I bought from the pound shop. Um, they come in a range of sizes, just to give you an idea of scale. This one's about 19 centimeters high. About 10, 11 centimeters wide. Um, we use them quite a lot. This is our Uethel species red in here. Um, they're plastic, they've got quite clear sides, so it's easy to see inside. Um, and uh, we drill through the lids to give ventilation. We've never kept mantids before, but as far as I can tell, um, you've got two options basically for substrate, either a paper towel that you keep moist or coconut coir, um, which I'm gonna go with because I prefer the way it looks. So I'm gonna add a small amount into the bottom. Obviously being arboreal, they won't they'll spend very little time on the bottom. This is just to maintain humidity. Um, I soaked this about half an hour ago and it's still quite crumbly, it's not wet at all. Very similar to tarantulas. I've got a few sticks from the garden to give it something to climb on. Um, I baked it in the oven for about 10 minutes on about 120 degrees. Um, if you're going to do that, keep an eye on it because you don't want to catch fire, particularly the uh, smaller sticks like this. There might be a slight risk of that. Now I'm basically just going to adjust this for two reasons. One, so it looks good, and the other, to allow it somewhere to molt from. Um, from the little research I've done so far, molting is the most dangerous time for mantids. Um, that's why the enclosure needs to be at least three times uh, the length of Mantid's body. What they'll do is they'll hang uh, below a branch or possibly even the lid. Um, they'll crawl out of their exoskeleton and they need a bit of space, a bit like tarantulas, to stretch um, whilst they're drying. Their exoskeleton is hardening up. Add a bit of a play around, added a bit more substrate to keep these sticks firmly in place. Um, I've made sure that there's some nice drops underneath the diagonal twigs to allow it to molt, and I think that's pretty much it. The plastic jars from the pound shop come with red plastic lids like this. Um, this one's got holes drilled in it ready for the rehousing of our Kilobrachis wahini. Um, what I did for the mantids was I cut out the middle using a Stanley knife. If you're gonna try that, be very careful, obviously. It's easy to cut yourself. Um, also, from the pound shop, I bought this cake cover. It looks like that. It's designed to keep insects and stuff off your cakes. And I'm just gonna use strips of that underneath the lid. Um, I'll neaten that up, but something like this. Thread snags a little bit, but that should work fine. Give it plenty of ventilation. Okay, I'm gonna leave the one that's eating, let it finish, because I don't want to disturb it too much. Um, but I will rehouse this one. I think, judging by the segments, on the lower half of the body. I think it's female, but I'm not sure. We'll have to work on that.
So this is Hyrodula majuscula.